on everybody out there this is popular stranger and we are back at you again today with another madden 24 ultimate team video we got episode number 66 of the no money spent squad series and the sugar rush market crashes here we got one big pickup that we made on the team and we're going to talk about other cards that you might want to go after as well let's go ahead and jump on into the episode before we go over the one big roster change that we made we're down to about 724,000 coins still a good amount to work with the sugar rush promo drops later this afternoon and right now the market is down on, on a lot of really really good cards people are expecting 98 overall champions and 99 overall LTDs because a Demarius Thomas was revealed last night on EA's Twitter and it's a 99 overall LTD so if you follow the trend of what we've seen all year that means champions should be 98s and I don't know if that's going to happen or not, but what's going on is now 96 overall cards and some 97 overall cards are tanking in price. It's a great day to go ahead and make some pickups. So let's go ahead and open up the free packs that we earned. We also finished up our competitive pass for the week, so we'll show you the results there. We got one red zone pack, a touchdown pack, I think a free agency pack. We did finish up the free agency field pass for the most part as well. So we do have our free 97 overall Kendall Fuller, so that's a W there. Of course, we'll give you a roster update at the end of the video nothing good in the red zone pack let's hope that this touchdown pack is a little bit better we're really hoping for like 94 overalls or even 95s 95s would be a huge stretch uh, we got a 90 instead not a terrible pack there an 89 as well but we showed you in the last couple episodes right we're pretty good at turning all of this binder trash into something more valuable eventually so that's exactly what we're going to do is continue to hang on to these cards and wait until we find an opportunity to use them for good this is a free fantasy pack I think either from solo challenges or from the field pass. I truly cannot remember. I don't think it really matters who we pick there because that's going to turn into training or coin or a piece to build something else. Normally, I would probably wait until Saturday to open up these ultimate legend packs. The, we earn these from the competitive pass. I'm just going to go ahead and do it now. Uh, these actually have three rounds and they're not half bad packs. Like I opened these up on my main account and got, I think, a 93 and a 94. Not having, okay, there's a 93. As I say, not having such luck on my no money spent account here, but then I actually actually did so we got a 93 in the first pack let's hope we have the same luck that we did on the main account and get a 94 in the second pack we start with an 88 and we get a 94 all right i don't is that how these are all going is everybody getting the same exact thing i don't know but I ain't going to complain about it. A 93 and a 94 for free out of those two free fantasy packs. So how do we earn those? Again, in the competitive pass. Hopefully most of you are familiar with this by now. Um, but we finished it up for the week. We're at level 22. Not pretty close to 23, unfortunately. But I did end up getting to 15 Mutt Champs wins this week. I started out really well. I think I was like 13 and 5, maybe 13 and 6. I'm pretty sure it was 13 and 5 because I had 7 games remaining and I only needed to win 2 of them. Well, then everything went terribly bad I lost four games in a row five out of six and it came down to my 24th game where we were stuck on 14 wins luckily we clutched it out in the final 25th game there we got the 15th win so we got 45 XP yay but honestly I mean that helps out 45 XP is a ton we played one solo battle game this week probably won't really play anymore uh, making progress on some of the milestone rewards so the next up thing and hopefully by the next episode we'll have this unlocked who who knows but uh, at level 26 we do get a 96 overall fantasy pack I'm probably going to take the right guard Greg Van Rotten he seems like the logical upgrade for the squad despite the fact that we just added a right guard in the last episode he would be a plus two and overall there and that would be a helpful card I'm pretty sure he gets secure protector for one AP so we have that to look forward to we're very very far far away from level 38 and getting the Zabin Collins but eventually and hopefully he'll be on the squad as well and a bunch of coins and packs in between so we'll continue to work on that I don't think we'll get new milestone rewards this week probably next week on Friday but we'll see what happens tomorrow when the comp pass resets season five field pass we're getting pretty close to level 27 I don't think we have too much to look forward to i mean we get another derrick henry token at level 30 and tj watts not too far as well level 34 there so we'll probably get him in the next coming weeks with the sugar rush promo dropping today we are more than likely going to get a field pass that field pass is more than likely going to feature some xp in the season five field pass so we have that to look forward to as well and as i mentioned we're pretty much almost done with the free agency field pass the only thing left 
is the level 10 reward, which is a 94 overall BND free agency card. I don't think any of the cards in this free pack are going to help us out, so it's probably going to turn into training at some point. And basically what we need to do is get four more fumbles, and then I think I do have to complete at least one free agency set. I didn't 100% check the math, but if I remember correctly, that's what it was. Regardless, we'll have this maxed out at some point, but more importantly, we got to level 5 and level 9. We also knocked out the solos from this field pass, and that went ahead and allowed us to add the 97 overall Kendall Fuller. So before we give you the team update, let's go ahead and show you the move that we made. We have a brand new quarterback. We sold Super Bowl Doug Williams for 140 k last night. He's really, really inexpensive right now if you need a great budget quarterback. Uh, but we went ahead and bought quarterback Bo Jackson, and we picked him up for 345k now i've actually seen him go a little bit cheaper and if you're on xbox the market is a lot less expensive over there so you may see this same card for like 300 to 310k if so really good pickup he's gonna save me on ap he's probably still the best quarterback in the game with the sugar rush promo pending of course and here is our squad now with our new qb so like i said in the beginning of the video we're sitting at 727k that's still not a bad amount for the way that the market is crashing right now uh, uh, here is our offense. We're still going to need to go out and pick up a brand new wide receiver, but with the new quarterback, we have another two AP free on offense, and I'm spending two AP on edge protector right now, which is kind of stupid as well, so we're really going to try to allocate all of this free AP on some secure protectors because over that course of the 25 games in the competitive pass, I did have a really hard time dealing with a lot of those unstoppable force guys, Matta Beast, Greg Carlo or George Karloftis, of course Warren Sapp, so we need some more secure protectors protectors out there. Rob Havenstein at right tackle being the only one on the offensive line having it uh, is, is not the move right now. So we got to spend some coin there. The defense, as I said, we picked up Kendall Fuller. We got him done here. Flat zone KO for zero AP. Put him at CB number three. Josh Williams goes to CB four and Darius Slade goes over to CB five. As far as the defense goes, I mean, between Fred Warner and by the way, this free Micah Parsons has actually been pretty good. I had to spend three AP on him to get double or nothing, which is not ideal at all, but I had the room for it. So that's why I did it. He's been surprisingly good, so I'm, I'm kind of happy with this card. Him and Matta Beast on the edge right now. Warren Sapp and Chris Jones are defensive tackles, one and two. Pass rush has been pretty good. I, I like my secondary, DRC and Sertain. Very good. Justin Simmons is absolutely him. And Jair Brown, despite him getting continuing to get cheaper and cheaper and cheaper, he just continues to make plays. So I'm really cool with the defense. Again, I think the offense is our main focal point o-line we need secure protectors and we need at least one brand new wide receiver if not two but jerry rice is still kind of getting it done i mean they're all getting it done but we're going to need some upgrades with all of these brand new and good cards coming out today more than likely next week and all of the combine cards that are getting really cheap we got more upgrades we can make so that's kind of where i'm going to end the video is cards that you might want to look out for so on my main channel we usually do a video that breaks down all of the cheap cards for the day and we'll probably be doing that on friday but i want to just give you kind of a jump start on that to take a look at most specifically combine promo cards because if you can find a lot of these 96s for under 300k you need to go out and buy them you know we paid 345 for qb bo jackson there's a couple that are cheaper than that still right now so this is a really good card easily the best running back in the game this Bo Jackson 330 you can see is a little bit more expensive compared to the other 96s we're about to take a look at but at 330k I got half of mine to go out and buy this one right now but we're going to continue to use our free Darren McFadden uh, Donovan Peoples Jones pretty solid card for 280 not bad I would go after the Genki Forest receivers because those are like lower 200k uh, with DK Metcalf and Devontae Adams so this one's not really one that you need to rush to Quentin Nelson very very good if he drops below 300k today i'd take a look at him he gets omniscient for 2 ap that's going to give you identifier and threat detector all together for a total of 2 ap with the omniscient ability outside linebacker bo jackson really really good in coverage if he drops below 300 300k today definitely go get him the best pass rusher in the game in my opinion right now is brian arakpo i kind of want to buy this card right now as well i'm going to have my eye on it if he drops below 300k later today definitely going to pick it up 
up. But if you take a look at the prices on these cards two, three, four days ago, they're already way down in price. DRC for 300k and under is a steal if you run a lot of man coverage like I do. We are getting Redux cards tomorrow as well, so you're starting to see some of these 97 overall LTDs come down in price. I mean, Tariq Willen is not going to be affordable for me, but I did just want to point that one out. Justin Simmons, he already dropped over the weekend because of the Ed Reed card. He's actually going up in price now, kind of doing the reverse. So if you see him start to drop again, one of the best, if not the best free safeties in the game, in my opinion. So take a look at not only the 96 overall NFL Combine cards, but if you can find 97 Team of the Years for cheap, I haven't really price checked these at all. I had somebody say that AJ Brown was like 350K last night. And yeah, they were absolutely correct. So this might need to be one of the new wide receivers we pick up, considering we run, a, you know, somewhat of an Eagles steam team here. Very good card. Probably not one of the best receivers in the game, but at this price... I'm, I'm not mad at it at all. Fred Warner down to under 500k. So yeah, it looks like even some of the best team of the year cards are starting to drop now. Patrick Sertain's under 400k. Same with Sauce Gardner. So there's a lot of really good cards out there that you guys can go out and buy. Again, we'll make a more direct video on the ones that you should be buying over on my main channel. But those are some cards to kind of get the ball rolling that you guys can target either right now or today when the brand new content gets announced and then when it comes out later in the afternoon. Thank you for watching this episode. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.